Bye. Well, look who's back. Didn't think I'd ever see the day. You did damn good. I'm the best there is. What can I do for you? My town is your town. Yeah, I think I deserve a real reward. Something I can actually use. Look, I uh, needed a mention. Hold up a sec there, Hancock. Let me give our friend the good news. So we were thinking, with Morowski out of the way, how'd you like to take ownership of the Hotel Rexford? What exactly do I have to do? As owner, you can do whatever you want with the place. Turn it into a strip club, a monastery, sky's the limit. Well, maybe not a monastery. Just make sure you give Hancock a cut of the profit, and it's all good. Absolutely. I'm in. All right, then. Head over there when you're ready. We made some improvements. Pendleton can fill you in on the details. What can I say? I like the way you operate. Just consider this town your home away from home. I'm gonna head back to Fallon's for now. But if you ever want company for the road, you just let me know. Got a problem? You're looking to stock up on general equipment? Take Daisy's discounts. What's the difference? You didn't notice the overwhelming stench of glamour? Take a good look and drink it all in. If I can be of any further assistance, please do let me know. I remain your obedient servant. Good to know. I'll be going. Hey. Hey, boss. Something I can help you with? Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Sure thing. The guest accommodations are up on the third floor. Your room is in the back where Morosky's office used to be. And if you'd like to make any renovations, downstairs is the workshop area. What if I want a place to relax or get a bite to eat? Where should I go? The entrance to our new day spa is on the lower level. It's a great place to shop, dine, have a swim, or just hang out. If you're in the mood for some gambling or entertainment, check out the casino and nightclub up on the third floor. Besides stage shows and slot machines, there's roulette and craps tables as well. The roulette dealer we hired is a tad... well, I'm sure you'll see for yourself. I'm good for now, thanks. Sure thing. Hi. Hello there. Would you like to play a round of Rex for Droulette? What's your story? How about you gamble a bit? 
and then maybe I can tell you. Let's do this later. I understand. <clears throat> hey boss, something I can help you with? I'm interested in running a job. You probably noticed it's pretty dead in here. The Rexford has been a dump for so long, changing public opinion is no easy task. We haven't even been able to recruit enough staff to properly run the place. Without adequate staff, it's hard to provide a positive experience for the customers. What do you need done? For starters, we need to find some bartenders, entertainers, and security. Once we get this place properly staffed, word of mouth should spread and more customers might start showing up. If you'd be willing to help us with recruitment, it would speed up the process. Just tell me what you need me to do. Great. I'm giving you a list of job openings we need to fill. Also some flyers to put up around the Commonwealth. Thanks for helping us out. Excuse me. Hey, can you give us directions? We're kind of lost. Where are you headed? We're looking for a place called Club Snuggle. They said it was right near Diamond City, but it's like not. Do you know how to get there? I've heard rumors about them. 
I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I told you we should have asked that lady at Hardware Town for directions. I don't know, Amber. I got a really bad vibe from her. I'm usually super intuitive with first impressions. It's like I have ESPN or something. Are you okay? Why the hell are you talking like that? What's your damage, man? That's just how I talk. How is that even possible? I think he means our accents. We grew up in the Spielberg Historical Museum down in Providence. It was sort of like a time capsule kind of situation. It, huh? The main forms of entertainment we had were Cabbage Patch dolls and movies from the 1980s. Uh -huh. It was sort of like a time capsule kind of situation. The main forms of entertainment we had were Cabbage Patch dolls and movies from the 1980s. I love John Hughes. Pretty in Pink is my absolute favorite. So that's just how we learned to talk. How did you end up in this place? Fucking Vice Kings raided us. We were 16 when it happened. Only a few of us managed to escape didn't have anywhere to go, so we started wandering north. Eventually ended up in the Commonwealth. How have you survived down here? We met up with these guys from a caravan. It was pretty bitchin'. Said they were headed to a settlement called Fusion City. Never heard of it. Good security, clean beds, drinkable water. It was really very. What happened after that? We moved in there. Duh. We attended the university for a couple of years, figured why pass on free education? <laughs> Speak for yourself, nerd. The rest of us were there to party. But our friends told us the real way to make money was working at Club Fusion. Yeah, that, that probably won't work out for you in the long run. It wasn't totally lame. We were making 5k a month working short hours with a closet full of heels and free access to healthcare. Couldn't ask for much more, really. I don't understand. Why leave? <sighs> Lame-o management prudes started making all these rules about what we could and couldn't do in the VIP rooms. <sighs> Just to be clear, sex has never been allowed in the VIP rooms. Just binge drinking, fraud, and a little bit of pickpocketing. You do what you have to do. Of course, not everyone follows the rules. Hey, if you do extras, that's like your business, no one else's. What are you guys doing out here? We heard from our friend Lexi there's a new place called Club Snuggle. Yeah, where they're not so stuck up about what goes on in the back rooms. Figured we'd check it out and see what the upchuck factor is on the place. So what's up with those flyers? Did your dog go missing? You should let us have a look. Maybe we can help find him. Take a look. The Rexford? Ugh, grody. I heard that place was a total trash heap. 
Gosh, Tori, take a chill pill. It says on the flyer they fixed the place up. And they're hiring, too. We're looking for new jobs, remember? You interested in coming to work for me? I have a good spot you could set up shop. That depends on how legit you are. The flyer here is a little vague on the comp you're offering. Hopefully we can work something out. I don't know. We'll see. We're just exploring our options for now. You have a better option than what we're offering you? Uh, like, besides Club Snuggle and Fusion City? There's a lot of places we could go. I want more details than that. For starters, there's Boston Bordello, or the Red Seat District. Also, Club Fire and the Raider Emporium. Ugh, as if. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? Why? What's wrong with the Raider Emporium? You mean, like, besides the fact that they're raiders? You shouldn't stereotype, Tori. As long as they have caps, why do you care? One of the guys who runs the joint is a total perv. They got kicked out of Fusion City for a reason, remember? Are you sure it's the same guys? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And that whole neighborhood is, like, infested with super mutants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave you to it then. Hold on, I didn't say we weren't interested. We're gonna find this club's snuggle place, and when we're done checking it out, we'll swing by Good Neighbor. If we like what we see at the Rexford, we'll let you know. And maybe we'll tell our friends about it too. Hey there. Sorry to break it, T-Lad, but that flyer isn't likely to stay up for very long. Is there a problem? How do I put this delicately? You see any other flyers posted around here? Mm, no, I can't say that I do. And you see any bathrooms or toilet paper? You're kidding, right? Got to make do with what we have. So, what's that you're advertising? Here you go. Take a look. Ah, so they finally fixed up the racks for eh? Says here, looking for experienced bartenders. I might be willing to give it a go. Comes down to what you're offering, though. Depends on what you got. Tell me about yourself. Suppose you could say I'm an adventurer. From Scotland originally, but I've journeyed all over. My goal is to see the whole world someday. All six continents. How'd you end up here? I was closing up shop one night at a bar outside Dundee when a flying saucer beamed me up. Somehow I managed to escape. Found a flash in the red button in the hallway. So I pressed it and the ship crash landed here in the Commonwealth. I don't know how you survived. Just seeing if you're paying attention. No one wants to hear a person's full life story. Sometimes people listen to mine for a bit until they work up the nerve and ask me to start saying American words in a funny accent. Short of it is, I came across the pond on a boat, same as everyone else. Although, thinking back on it, an alien abduction might have been more comfortable. What are you offering, exactly? Let's just say I've experienced more adventures in one lifetime than most men would intend. Got the scars to prove it, too. My business is handling people, whether that means serving drinks or serving punishment. I've worked for raiders, do-gooders, and all sorts in between. And one thing I've learned in my travels is how to keep bar. What do you say? Wanna work for me? I'm not committing to anything before I see the place, but I'll give it a look. I'm gonna hold on to this flyer for the time being if you don't mind. I don't think we've met yet. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity.
Thank you for your assistance, friend. Anything I can do to repay your kindness? What are you doing out here? I work for Covenant, town up the road. They hired me to do perimeter security. I start by rigging the bridge to the south with explosives. It takes quite a while to replace all the vehicles, gas canisters, trip wires, and frag mines each time some poor sucker trips it. But it seems to be working well. Maybe a little too well. What do you mean by that? It's reduced foot traffic so much, the job of security has become boring. If this is boring, I'd hate to see what you consider exciting. Well, it was entertaining for a while. There used to be a gunner camp up on the freeway. We had good times, a lively exchange of gunfire on multiple occasions. But a week ago, they left. I never came back. Now all we get is the occasional Myrolet pack, or chem dealers looking to set up shop at the abandoned house here. With the area surrounded by water on three sides and the cemetery to the north, I struggle to fill the days. I could help you out if you want. What did you have in mind? Would you be interested in working for me? Not to be rude, friend, but we just met. I would need more information on what you're offering. Here you go. Take a look. The Hotel Rexford, huh? I know this place. The woman there who pretends to sweep the floor. You still pay her to do this? She's dead. This is reassuring to hear. Nothing worse than someone who takes no pride in their work. The salary you have listed here is reasonable. But competitive benefits. What does this mean? What did you have in mind? Well, room and board would be nice. Also, access to the sauna mentioned in the flyer here. Not a problem. Anything else? A relocation bonus to cover moving expenses. Say, 400 caps? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Ah, you're killing me here, but all right, you've got the deal. I'll gather my things and meet you in good neighbor. Yeah? Excuse me. Hey, boss! I don't know how you managed to pull it off, but this place is finally humming! Glad it turned out well. Those girls you hired, Amber and Tori, they liked the place so much, they told a few of their friends, who told some of their friends, who... Well, have a look around and see for yourself. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. Here. I got you this. A little something to say thanks. If you ever need anything, just let me know. If we want things to get better, we gotta start helping each other. What's on your mind? You really do have a way with people. I'm good for now. Thanks. Yeah. 